will go down around the Skagit Speedway. Green flag set to fly this time, exiting turn number four. Eight laps of scheduled distance. Passing points, the name of the game, to advance on into tonight's ProtectTheHarvest.com feature event. Johnson and Ryla, a pair of former ASCS national champions, will work off a turn number four side by side. A good fit, a good start. We're underway. It will be Ryla jumping up to the top shelf, and he will have the race lead. Wayne Johnson will run in second, side by side for third. Now Steve Reeve down to the bottom. Kyle Bellum up to the top side. It will be Reeve on the bottom. He will have the advantage off a of turn number four. Bellum, though, still right there with Bergman in tow. Seth Bergman will try to get a spot here. Kyle Bellum squirrely off a of turn number two. Kicks it sideways, and Bergman's right there to capitalize. Bergman's not done there. He's going to go for third. This time, exiting turn number four. He's got it in 23. Seth Bergman up into the third spot. Steve Reeve back to fourth. Kyle Bellum in fifth. In six is Peter. And seventh is Hahn. Rounding out your field right now will be the 95 of Mac coming to Steve Reeves. Sideways, Kyle Bellum right there. He has to go sideways, and that collects the 51 of Jared Peterson. Hahn's going to work by both of them, but the caution is out. Blake Hahn in six. Matt Covington in seventh. And having to drop to the tail of the field is the cause of the caution. The 51 of Jared Peterson. Here we go, two and six to go. Just like that, Blake Hahn's going to drop to the neck. It turns 22. He'll get around the 14K. And Kyle Bellum, and he'll crack the top five to the back straightway. Now, sets his sight to the five bar. Steve Reeve. Reeve able to keep the 52 at bay as Bellum goes back after that position. Not able to get the job done this time. Makes it in turns three and fourth. In turns one and two. Hahn's able to run away as Bellum slides it up the racing surface. Up front, though, it is all Travis Ryland, 39. Handling problems continue for Kyle Bell and slipping all the way to the tail end of the field now. It will be Riley coming around this time to complete lap number five. Wayne Johnson still sitting in second. Seth Bergman in third. And it's going to be Steve Reeve in fourth. Blake Hahn in fifth. Jared Peterson back up in the sixth. Matt Covington in seventh and eighth. Running at your field will be the 14K of Kyle Belloma. As Hahn continues to go after the 5R of Reeve. Again, that'll be the battle for the fourth spot here in our opening heat race of seven for the Lucas Oil American Sprint Car Series. Coming around this time, they will see the white flag fly one more time around for Ryland in 39. Less than a half a lap to go this time, and the Carlin Services over 39C works the top shelf. Now dives it down to the bottom. He will have heat race number one. Travis Riley, your race winner. Wayne Johnson crossing in second. Seth Bergman in third. Steve Reeve in fourth. Blake Hahn in fifth. Jared Peterson grabs six. Matt Covington in seventh. And Kyle Bellum has to settle for the eighth. Fifth starting spot. See if he has a little better handle on Skagit Speedway tonight. Dwayne Lane's North Cascade Force pace truck will pull off. Didiak on the inside, Brook on the outside. They need to be side by side at the white chalk line. Green flag. We're underway. It's Brook with the advantage. As they cross underneath the flag stand, Didiak going to go two wheels down to the apron to try to take it back. No can do. Side by side down the back straightaway. Vaughn into third. Vaughn now taking off against the similarly painted car of his. And Didiak, meanwhile, Youngquist is coming. Youngquist started sixth. He's up to fourth. Herrera trying to get him back. Youngquist and Herrera trying to make a Vaughn sandwich as they race around in the back of the field. Out in front, Cale Brook. He is your early race leader. Didia two, Vaughn three. Youngquist four. Herrera trying to take it from him. Herrera moves up racetrack. Takes the line away from Youngquist. He's into the fourth spot. Youngquist thinks about going back downstairs as Herrera now taking on Vaughn for third. Cale Brook picking him up and putting him down. Didiak in the two spot, Vaughn three, Herrera four, Herrera to the inside of Vaughn off the corner. As Youngquist sails away high, McDonnell going to his inside. McDonnell down low, Youngquist up on the cushion, Youngquist drives away off the corner. We watch Herrera work back on Vaughn up in the front of the field, five in, three to go. Herrera right up onto Vaughn's rear tail tank. Johnny goes to the high side, rockets off down low, going to try to enter the corner underneath, washes way up racetrack, and loses a bunch of ground to Vaughn in the N8. Youngquist now closing back up in on Herrera for position. Cale Brook, white flag out one more time around. Best battle on the track is for third between Nate Vaughn and Johnny Herrera. Herrera, four wheels over the cushion entering turn number one. Into three and off the final corner, Cale Brook, your winner, gives second to Didiak. Vaughn takes third, Herrera four. Youngquist, Mac Donnell smoking up a storm as Bud Ash. 
And from the pit area, heat race number two. The official finish has changed. In post-race inspection, Caleb Brook was found to have an illegal compound right rear tire on. He is disqualified. Your new heat race winner, Luke Didiuk, will look directly into the A main tonight. Tough break for Brook. Didiuk goes forward. Works into turns one and two. The Dwayne's Lanes North Cascade Ford Pace Vehicle making its way down into the infield eight times around. Begins this time exiting turn at number four. Green flag off the turn number four. It will be the 59 of Fisher jumping out into the race lead. The 11 right now running in that second spot as they'll go side by side for third. On the high side, it will be the 72 of Phil Dietz with the advantage for the time being as Fisher and DuPerrin take off one and two. Kelsey Carpenter with a pass for the third spot, exiting turn number two. He will drop the 72 of Phil Dietz now back to fourth and fifth. It's going to be the 37 of Trevor Kirkland. The 1NZ of Jamie Duff and the 22C of Trevor Cook currently round out your running order as your leader starting to build his advantage here. Eric Fisher working off the high side of turn at number four. Last time, 0.862 seconds. This time, 1.170 seconds. That is the advantage he has over Mark DuPerrin right now in the 11 machine. DuPerrin coming to us out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Currently riding in that second spot, the 79K of Kelsey Carpenter from right here in town. He continues to ride at third. Phil Dietz at fourth. Jamie Duff has cracked the top five now with a one NZ getting around the 37. As they'll work side by side in turns three and four. The 37 of Kirkland trying to get back up into the top five but unable to do so as your leader. We'll come around this time to two to go. It continues to be Eric Fisher in 59, the driver to Burlington, Washington, the Reeves Racing Shark Racing Engine Subway, number 59. White flag flies this time in heat race number three. Checkered flag will fly this time for your race leader in heat race number three. How about it, Eric Fisher out of Burlington, Washington with the win. The 11, Mark DePere crossing in second. The 79K of Kelsey Carpenter in third. Phil Dietz in 72 in fourth. The 1NZ of Jamie Duff in fifth. Trevor Kirkland in 37 and six. And the 22C of Trevor Cook on 